they are not accumulating too much at the bottom here. That's really great, really, really great. Salut survivors, welcome back to Solute Podcast channel in Night of the Dead legendary series for the wave 1909. In today's video, I will first uh, briefly present to you what we did today and we will then play the whole night. There has not been any uh, uh, major uh, encounters today. I mostly did some uh, construction, harvesting of tree branches. So I don't really have an excerpt of today. I mean, I, I, I did build uh, the flamethrower. I did trebuchets, did some cooking and uh, no uh, specific uh, excerpt of the day. If you're new here today, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. So today, as I just mentioned, I built the flamethrower. It is up there, looking at us here. So I, I put this pillar outside uh, on the outer direction, so in case of big explosions here, there will not be any uh, uh, major damage, hopefully, to the structure supporting the, the flamethrower. And I have added some trebuchets, uh, one uh, line behind the current uh, line of trebuchets. So we are going to see, because this trebuchet inner uh, radius when they shoot is five blocks. So there is a danger that they shoot at me, obviously. So we are going to uh, test this. I might need to not reload too much the traps at the front, uh, the first traps in the grand entrance when I load the trebuchets at the back. Let me show you these trebuchets. I did also some uh, modifications to the... Here are the two trebuchets. So these ones, they shoot at five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. So they should be on this line. The others are two... Uh, actually, three, sorry. Three blocks behind. So they will shoot at one, two, three, four, five. Therefore, they might shoot here. And I might be damaged. Another modification I did today, it's here. I removed the bridge as recommended by uh, Ryu. And uh, and this way it should reduce the chance for them to cross straight to the uh, mid-bait uh, area. Among the other things on today, I did a lot of cooking. Uh, so we can see better the cumulative uh, aspects of these uh, bonuses uh, or buff. We are going to test that in a second. Here, while waiting for them, let's eat. So at the moment, I am at three, four, five, five, and four, nine, eleven. Am I correct? Three, five, and four, nine. I'm at eleven. Uh, so I'm at plus ten bonus condition with this uh, pork feet. Now we are going to test. I will eat uh, first, uh, say, a cake. Okay, give plus 30. So I'm at now 3, 5, 5, 10, 14. So 11, yeah, I got the plus 3. It got accumulated with the other plus 10. Then I have a pizza. Let's eat a pizza. It gave another plus 2. So I'm at 17 normally. 3, 5, 3, 5. No, 14 and 2, 16. I'm at 16. Yes, I'm at 16. Let's eat a muffin. 17. And the bacon. 19. I think that's it. I'm not going to get a platter for just for a plus 10. Okay. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, thanks, uh, GGS Gaming, to uh, explaining me a bit better these cumulative boosts. Now we are ready. I need to eat though to get my plus 10 conditions. Okay, cool. And then for healing, now I have these sausages. And our first guests of the wave 19 are coming. Whew, uh, hopefully everything will uh, go fine. 
Let's make sure all is reloaded properly. Okay, they seem to be... Some of them are going a bit on the left of the spikes. Some of them are going by the middle. Uh, look, it's more here to send them down, slow them down. I did some uh, trebuchet stone earlier. Yeah, trebuchet stone balls. Good. I still have dynamites because I think in case of uh, when there is really a lot there to throw a few dynamites, uh, I still believe that can be good. The fuel, the fuel. Yes, okay, a fuel ready to load here. Ooh. I should actually add here some fences, can I? Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm going to fall here. Under uh, lag or panic or going too fast. Okay, good. So I can load here the flamethrower. When needed, I'll do it for the final uh, wave. I have also added a few traps in the maze number two. Uh, one trap domo, one cutter mo. I have not yet added ballista because I was feeling in terms of uh, prioritizing my uh, trap machines. The trebuchet right now might be more important. And the trap door in the maze too uh, is also, I think right now, more important. And for the ballista, I need to add structures one of the things I would like to do tomorrow for polishing is uh, put back one shredder under here and uh, maybe extend the platform a bit this side perhaps and uh, if the trebuchet second line is working alright add even more trebuchet we will see uh, I don't want to end up on the uh, day 20 short of twigs, so I, I, I spent a lot of time to get twigs today, but as usual, even if I spent hours uh, getting uh, three branches, I'm still in, um, a little bit short. Okay, look, so far the spikes are doing very alright. Now tomorrow, when there will be edits, for the initial waves, uh, then I will need to uh, load the trebuchet uh, from the beginning. So I'm considering maybe to have first uh, regular stones or stone uh, ammo, and then uh, when the final wave comes, uh, switch to the uh, exploding boulders. All this costs a lot of fuel, of course, with the flamethrower, the trebuchet, so I have a little bit of stocks. <coughs> a little bit. But uh, I'm uh, concerned that I might not have uh, a long uh, or many days with fuel. So I have built two oil drilling machines close to the mining machines as an investment. Uh, I need to hope to be successful on the wave 20, right? We will only know uh, one day from now, but I hope I hope to uh, survive and then to get going. I will need the flamethrowers. I will need the uh, exploding ammo uh, from the trebuchets. I need to be able to uh, use confidently my flamethrower weapon. Therefore, uh, I have put these uh, two uh, oil uh, drilling machines. Maybe I should need uh, more because I still need to operate my uh, um, mining machines and the mining machines of course also utilize oil. Before the final wave comes I would like to do a quick uh, clean uh, reload of the front of the maze too. I did, uh, I did it properly earlier, but look, there are always some coming. So... Just do it. We're not coming back up here for quite some time, I suppose. 
unless things go sour. <laughs> okay, good. Let's focus on the main entrance now. Look, I have put more spikes today compared to the previous days and so far uh, it's working well uh, in terms of having them come one by one but let's see when there is a final wave these together with the flamethrower hopefully we'll slow them down a lot and the trebuchet will be uh, able to uh, do a lot more damage now we have seen that the trebuchet they, there was actually excess uh, ammo at the end of the night so I might actually start to load the front trebuchet and make more use of these spikes while uh, unloading the pressure or re reducing I should say the pressure on the grand entrance here or oh, the two lane entrance Oof. Okay, I would really uh, like that it doesn't go uh, haywire. I'd like my day 20 to be relatively uh, calm and not uh, in a hurry mode uh, too much. So that I have time to properly prepare for the uh, day 20. Now, I was thinking maybe for the day excerpt of the day 20 to do a little tour of the uh, entire base because some people uh, uh, of course have been following uh, more or less since the beginning or have been catching a couple of episodes ago and, and know and understand the, the maze design and how it works but uh, there are some other people for whom it might not be entirely clear uh, on the uh, strategy and the design of the maze so for day 20 uh, I will probably do uh, just a, a base tour and show the path of the zombies and explain uh, the maze 1, the maze 2 I think that could be uh, interesting for uh, some uh, newcomers on the channel Now also as introduced to you or uh, introduced and mentioned to you uh, several times we are developing the website uh, nightofthedead.org where uh, there is already a map, several tutorials, a forum for uh, beginners but also uh, advanced players to discuss uh, about the game, about strategies, about base building so you are more than uh, welcome to join the community on uh, nightofthedead.org Okay, the final wave should be coming uh, really soon A bit of calm before the uh, thunderstorm Yep, okay It's about to come I will load the fire back trebuchet last I'm actually run out of uh, tribute ammo. I will need to go make some if needed. Look, I feel this tribute have really permitted here to have much less. Uh, look, they have gone really much less further into the maze. That's that's really great. Okay, they are going to come. I should first actually reload here because as mentioned earlier I fear they will attack here. And we have the flamethrower to load. Let's close the flamethrower first. Okay, flamethrower starting! Whew. It's a big uh, moment. 
Many people are telling me, hey, why don't you do the flamethrower? It's there. <laughs> Gonzalo will be very happy. Okay, cool. Look, as long as they don't accumulate at the bottom here, I'm not going to throw dynamites yet. They are being slowed down, which is the purpose. So trebuchets can do their job. Now I wonder if for the final wave, uh, or for the initial wave, sorry, tomorrow or should I put the flamethrower at the beginning? <sighs> it's probably ideal to survive the wave 20, but it would cost resources for uh, going into the following waves. And if they are not accumulating too much at the bottom here, that's really great, really, really great. Load, load, load. Yeah, I'm soon out of uh, tribute ammo. I am. I need to do more for tomorrow. I'm not sure right now it's free really, to be honest, the time to go make ammo. Should focus on reloading, reloading, repairing. kind of accumulation here we need to monitor these trap doors and to know when uh, when I need to do kind of a reload of the uh, okay. yeah one is down already do a couple of repairs here, I fear. It's always my fear, things breaking. Okay, the front. Well, there is much less choking than to this flamethrower, it seems. That's really, really great so far. Check if it's more. Can I go there? Let's test, huh? Look, if there is a moment to test, it's now, not tomorrow. So far, it seems I can go there without being shot at. Oh, but that might be because the trebuchets have uh, run out of ammo. Huh? That might be uh, misleading. Trapdoor still seem to have counts. Okay, they are burning well, they are burning well. That's nice. You know what? I might have the uh, chance to go make more tribute ammo. Let's do it. At the same time, we have a check on our meat baits.
question is maybe let's save and fuel now I mean I need fuel for tomorrow huh? if there are just a couple of zombies I mean the two maidens can really take a look the trebuchet they are shooting so far now this guy went the other way let's have a check of the maze too here yeah, exactly. Okay, the trapdoor seems they are not out of count. What the heck? Oh, he glitched in, the, in between. Shoot, okay. go there? Did something break? Did he glitch? Or is there a hole? I mean, I had checked, but you know, mistake is you, man. Okay, let's do some more reloads around here. Okay, the maze 2 has been really, really uh, useful. Huh? I mean, there was not much of a choke at the front, so of course, it is a flamethrower. But the fact that we have the maze too to handle all the ones that are falling, I think I think that's just really good. Now, assuming I will be uh, successful tomorrow, wow, some are pretty damaged here. Wait, wait, let's do some repairs. Yeah, assuming that I'll be successful tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Not all this work to uh, fail at the gold line. Hopefully. Um, well, assuming I'm successful, I, I think uh, there will be for the following uh, days uh, some uh, some thoughts on uh, what to do next, right? To be able to handle more and more and more. Well, I have several ideas. One is to reinforce the damage output of maze one and maze two, obviously. Another uh, solution would be to build maze 3 so all the ones falling from maze 2 would go into maze 3 somewhere there right there is plenty of uh, space in uh, my uh, property right look the trebuchet uh, no need to waste ammo either it's only stones but actually stones still need to go gather them i don't know what they are shooting at up there Oh, look, the spikes, they really did their job. Together with the flamethrower, of course. So many bags there, so many. Okay, wait. Uh, let's uh, reload some of, some of the front traps. So in case there is a bad surprise. We have the front ready to take care of the bad surprise. <laughs> okay, well, I think we have uh, tested really well the base with a new format with our uh, flamethrower, I believe. That's really nice. Oops. <laughs> Let's check a bit on the damages here on the structures. 98. No major damage and so far. Because I did regular reloads. This addition of the flamethrower is, is, I think, really great because then they don't choke as that much. So I'm not, I'm not in uh, panic mode to uh, reload, uh, repair. Uh, I can do things a bit more uh, consciously, uh, with more thoughts, and not uh, react, but more be proactive. Oh, okay. I have finished to utilize my 200 twigs. Okay. And we have some guests arriving here. Please, that's the way. Okay. Good thing we did a, a general reload repair at the front here. Okay. That's maybe what the trebuchets we're shooting at. Let's look at the damages here. Oh, a little bit. No, that's just a spike, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So this tier 3 fence now. No damage whatsoever. I mean, of course, there was no dynamite. Huh, but Well, actually, I wanted to try. You know what? We're going to try it now. Let's throw a dynamite somewhere where I would likely throw one. Somewhere here. And we will see if there are damages on the walls. Oh, maybe a bit nearer. Wait, let's check first. No damages. Yeah, it was a bit far, huh? I think the noise was coming from the maze too, actually. Okay, let's try a bit nearer. Of course, some spikes broke, but no damages whatsoever to the structures. I mean, that's 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 what we want. Ah, a little bit, but that might be done from before this, huh? Anyway, these walls, I did not upgrade them yet to tier 3 because they are uh, less important than the other walls, of course, but... <sighs> okay, great. Uh, well, I hope you have enjoyed the video. That was uh, quite some uh, burning with our brand new uh, flamethrower added to the defense in preparation of the wave... Uh, uh, not wave... Um, wave 20 so stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, big big day and that's going to be uh, fantastic uh, i fear uh, some lags several people have advised so i will reduce the uh, quality of the uh, graphics here i'm on uh, ultra I and mean, everything is maxed out i will uh, uh, or i think so at least or close to it i will reduce the uh, graphics for uh, for tomorrow so we'll have a, a little bit less good but uh, I mean if it's laggy all the time <laughs> we need to strike the right uh, balance anyway uh, once again I hope you have enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and until then have a good day cheers